Welcome to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. I'm your host, Troy Stegner. Before we get started, please go subscribe, man. Helps our metrics so much. We really need all the uh, subscribers we can get so that we can continue doing cool videos like this for free for you guys. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon. You'll be notified whenever we put up a new video. All right, let's stop burying the lead. Let's go. Oh. We got another unboxing here. Unboxing. Hey, how you doing? This one, another Disney Showcase collection. It is uh, Alice in Wonderland. As you can see, it's kind of a diorama. Uh, it's a, it's a different. It's not. This artwork is not based on the cartoon. It's a little different. Kind of digging it. So let's, let's just open this thing up and take a peek at what we got here. So that you don't think uh, I'm a disembodied voice, uh, move it to the side. Okay, this is based on the artwork of someone named Miss Mindy. And it's, it's cuter artwork, I kind of like it. Uh, Miss Mindy is a Los Angeles native, currently living and working out of her elf-like design studio. Yeah, yeah, okay, born into a big-hearted family, yeah. Uh, she worked as an ink and paint girl at Disney in the 1930s. Okay, so this this person uh, was working at Disney in the 30s. Man, that's way, way back. Uh, she wore bright red lipstick and tiny polyester suits. Uh, she had uh, she worked for they used a bunch of her stuff in the early 2000s. So she, I'm not sure if she's still alive or not, but she has a website here. If you are a fan of this type of artwork, I'll just put it out there for you. MissMindy.com. Easy to remember. MissMindy.com. So, yeah, that's very cool, man. From the 30s. I didn't know they did that type of artwork back in the 30s. Um, battery. This has a battery warning on it. So, man, does this thing take batteries somehow? I guess we will find out when we open this bad boy. Ugh. Part I really hate taking this thing out. Because you never, never know. Usually they tape them well. Not always. That's why whenever you take them out, always hold the, uh, the styrofoam together so you don't have an accident. There's nothing worse than pulling it out and the styrofoam not be taped closed. And then you get a big broken hunk of polystone on your floor. Okay, this is, before we open up the styrofoam, what is this? It is a little insert. I'm guessing we use this as a backdrop. Um, it looks that way. So we'll just set it right there. Get it out of the way for now. And I will use my deboxing tool. And we will open this thing up. Cut the tape. Okay, multiple pieces. I don't think there's anything under. No. Sometimes they will put uh, like bases or something on the back side with a little piece of styrofoam holding it in. Not the case on this one. This one, oh man, these are bigger than I thought. Our centerpiece here, uh, her version of the queen. Let's just be careful. I don't want to break it. I'm kind of using the bag. So they get pulled up even with even pressure across the whole thing because you don't want to break these. First of all, they're hard to replace if they have replacement parts. Sometimes they don't even have replacements. So we're going to uh, take the clean out. Oh man, it's so pretty. I am liking this a lot. This is so pretty. And you got the Cheshire Cat up on her head lots of detail uh, inside <laughs> I, I love this cutaway into her dress you she has like a little castle in the background with a bunch of the playing card soldiers lined up in front uh, she's got uh, she must have been playing croquet because she's got her flamingo club there and the little uh, I don't remember who he's supposed to be the little pink rabbit looking dude uh, even got the little bow in the back of her hair. This is adorable. I'm loving it. So I'm going to go ahead 
We're going to pull that piece and see. Is a battery in there? Oh, there is a battery in there. So what this does, okay, I don't see any moving parts. It's basically just for a light. It lights up inside her dress. I'll, there's off, and if you watch right here, you'll see the blue light. Boom. It illuminates it. Kind of a cool effect. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So we'll put her front and center. Because uh, she's a queen of hearts, you know, after all. Let's see what's the next biggest piece. Let's take a couple of these guys. The the card soldiers, if, if you watched or read the book, if you watched the comp book, uh, cartoon or read the book, you know her soldiers were basically playing cards. Oh, and this... Uh, yeah, it, it, when you feel the back, that's not just painted on pattern, it's kind of etched into it. First thing I noticed picking it up. Then you got his buddy, the Three of Spades. Again, same back etched into it. Uh, of course, this guy is the Three of Spades. Are these the same mold with just different paint jobs? Let's look. Uh, they're not because, you know, arms are on other sides, slightly different arm poses, faces are different, staffs are different. So, yeah, I mean, these are separate molds. They are not the same mold, just colored different. So, there's the queen and her, her girds. Oh, with her head. We have, oh man, this is cute. We got the little bunny. Oh, he is adorable. Kind of a, I mean, if this is based on her work in the 1930s, it was very ahead of his time. Okay, the, the, his monocle, you can see he's got a free floating chain there. You see it shaking, holding him on. He's standing on top of a pocket watch. The, you know, he didn't want to miss his tea time. And he's blowing the bugle. So I'm guessing he's announcing her being there. All right. What else do we have here? Okay, this one looks like the last piece. Oh, let's just see if that is true. Alright, we got Alice, or as Dr. Hook said, who the F is Alice? Yeah, um, it's another old throwback, sorry guys. This one, oh, I'm digging it except for her eyes. I think those eyes kind of make her look like a praying mantis. Uh, her head is... Uh, smashed and it's kind of pointy it, it, she looks with those eyes she looks like a praying mantis and she has this really thin uh i'm hoping that's metal uh hold, holding the flower up there it was wrapped in some uh foam because they didn't want it i guess rattling around and because i mean look it does shake a little bit if it hits a big enough thing you don't want it to bounce off her head or anything and do any damage so yeah you got alice there with a bite out of her cookie, sitting on the toadstool, just hanging out. And we got, let's put her, you know, slightly in front of the queen. So, I mean, there you go. That is a, was it one, two, three, four, five statue piece. Plus, if you count the diorama background, which I, I probably wouldn't, but I would say it's a five piece statue with uh, background. It is very, very cute. I really like this type of artwork, this Miss Mindy, uh, MissMindy.com. Uh, I'm sure she is no longer alive. She was working at Disney in the 30s, which had to put her, you know, at least 18, early 20s. And then you add 70, 80, 90, yeah. She, she's probably not around anymore, but her estate is. Got some really, really cute pieces. Let me uh, remove the backdrop. And we can get a 360 view of these guys. You know, you got Alice and the rabbit, the 
playing card dudes, the soldiers. Uh, the only thing I can see maybe being an issue, they all have a pretty wide base except for the card dudes. And you can see, you know, if I just, if, if I turn it just a little too much, you see how he shakes a little bit with the quick stops. So they're not, the, the two card soldiers are not as stable as the rest of them. The rest of them, as you can see, the queen has a wide base. You know, she's sitting on toadstool with a wide base. The rabbit's on, the, stop, the clock watch, uh, the, uh, I don't want to keep saying stopwatch, and I know it's all right. The uh, pocket watch. So he's got a pretty wide base. It's these card soldiers that I would be worried about. And you can buy some, uh, I believe it's called spirit gum or something. It's, it's kind of tacky like clay, but it's not really, it's not permanent. So you could take a little little roll under each foot to press them down to, to kind of hold them in place. And it'll hold them enough that they're not going to fall, but it's not going to be permanent. You can just pull them right up and that spirit gum is going to come with it. You can roll it off, toss it, and reposition them and put some more on. So yeah, there you have it. Overall, great quality. I'm, I love this type of artwork. Uh, it's not for everybody, I know, but I like it. And if you're a, a Disney slash, uh, not so much Disney, even though it is part of the, is it part of the Disney collection? Yeah, it's part of the Disney Showcase collection. Not based on any of Disney artwork. Based on the artwork of a Disney artist, I guess you could say, with uh, Miss Mindy. So yeah, there you go, man. That diorama, I, I kind of like it more without the background. There's without. There's with. I don't think the background adds anything to it. In fact, I think it detracts from uh, the beauty of these pieces. So, let's see, is this numbered? I don't believe so. Nope, and this whole set, I believe, is called Queen of Hearts. And if you were going to buy it on Sideshow.com, which we did, uh, it's actually titled uh, Alice in Wonderland Deluxe. It's a diorama. See, I, I don't know why Sideshow names them differently. That's weird, but anyway, Queen of Hearts. It says so right here on the bottom. Uh, it's from Disney Showcase Collection and MissMindy's.com. So, I mean, she's even got that branded on the bottom of these statues. So she must have a lot more stuff like this. And I can understand that because it's really, really kind of cute. Uh, so there you have five-piece statues with a background. Uh, there is a small battery for... Uh, the Queen of Hearts you can turn on and the uh, castle inside her skirt will light up. It's a cool little effect. So all in all, it wasn't real expensive. And you get five cool statues that you can place around. They're definitely a conversation starter. It's not your typical Alice in Wonderland. I, I like this uh, reimagining of the characters. like it a lot. So, that was my review of Queen of Hearts or Alice in Wonderland Deluxe on SciShow's website. If you like this video and you would like to see more like it, simple man, just subscribe. That's it. The more subscribers we have, the better it is. It helps our metrics greatly and we will be able to do more cool unboxings and stuff like this because these statues aren't free, man. we got to pay for them. So, just subscribe. I'm not asking much, just subscribe. Doesn't cost anything, hit the button, you're subscribed. Hit the bell icon right there. You'll be notified whenever we put up a new video. And until that new video comes out, later nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.